Hello and welcome back to Simply Greg's EV. You join us here just west of Montreal in Vaudreuil Dorio and it's currently minus 18 Celsius outside and it's going to dip down even lower. And we have a 2023 Ionic 5 all wheel drive that we're going to do a cold weather range test on. This is a very popular car here and I figured this will be a good extreme test. And actually this is our coldest range test on this channel. So let's get into it with the Ionic 5. You can definitely tell it's winter time here. Everyone's charging up at the flow 50 kilowatts, but this is our Ionic 5 for the test, 2023, roughly 69 or 70,000 kilometers on it. 77.4 kilowatt hour battery, as we know, dual motor, all wheel drive, 320 horsepower, and the rated range on this one, it was new, was I believe 428, 430. That was the range for the dual motor variant. Again, 77.4 kilowatt hour battery, about 74 usable. So we'll go up to 100% state of charge and we'll take it out on the uh, highway as everyone is charging up here. This is really cold. I'm going inside the car. Back well, in the car now, I jump back inside. It is absolutely brutal. Like I said, we're hovering around minus 17, minus 18. We have that polar vortex that's pushing air down from the north and Montreal is right in the path of it. Um, this is probably about the coldest it's going to get this year. Maybe it might dip down to like minus 25, but in terms for EV testing, this is absolutely perfect weather I find. We're plugged in, pulling 33 kilowatts, 82% uh, state of charge. We have about 40 minutes here of charging. I'll sit and do some work. Let's go over the uh, testing procedure. We'll go up to 100% state of charge. We'll head out on Highway 20 cross into Ontario onto the 401. When we hit 50% state of charge, we'll turn back around and we'll try to make it back to this charging spot. We'll be traveling at 112 kilometers an hour tonight, or roughly 70 miles an hour for you American viewers. And climate control set automatic. It will be an automatic one, so speed one, 20 Celsius inside, and I will have the heated seat on in mid, and I will have the heated steering wheel on because I want to be comfortable on this test. I don't want to sit here freezing or having to wear gloves. Let's do these tests as realistically as possible. You're not going to sit there with the heated seat off. Just hit 100% state of charge. We are in eco mode. All the trips are reset. Let's get unplugged and let's start this test. We'll just go get unplugged over here. There was no point showing you how, this, how to plug in because we've been through it before. We'll put this back in here. Uh, I'm freezing over here. I'm absolutely freezing. Let's close the charge port and let's start the test. We'll jump back inside. There's a Kona and an F-150 Lightning that's charging up as well. So just to go over it, 100% state of charge. We are in eco mode. All the trips are reset. Let's start this test. We'll switch on the uh, GoPros and let's get out of here. Okay, let's begin the test. Let's get out of here. So we're sitting at 100% state of charge. This is an extremely busy parking lot here, I'll tell you that. Let's go out this way. So we have a little quick run to get onto the highway. Um, one traffic light, hopefully that stays green. And then we're pretty much a straight shot right on the highway. So we'll, we'll pick it up there. Just getting onto the highway now. We're locked in at 112. We have the driving assists on. And we'll be cruising it at this speed as much as we can on, uh, on this test. It's still a bit of uh, rush hour traffic out here, but we should be good. So we're just getting onto the highway to Highway 20 now. We'll head westbound. There's a bit of a, of a headwind tonight, not too, too crazy, maybe about five or six kilometer an hour headwind. So we should be good on, um, on that front. And we'll continue driving. We'll give you a state of charge update when we hit the Ontario border. As I'm just crossing into Ontario now, there's the welcome sign. Trying to avoid all these trucks out on the road. There's a lot of truck traffic. We have traveled 32.2 kilometers. We're averaging 26.9 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. We've been traveling 19 minutes, just crossed into Ontario now. We're at 90% of state of charge here. So everything is good. 
Still got the climate control on, got Apple Music One playing, everything is good in here. Just giving you our 80% state of charge update, still here on the 401, just approaching Cornwall now. 63.8 kilometers we've traveled, we're averaging 27 kilowatt hours per 100, 36 minutes. Pack voltage is at 746 volts, minus 15.5 minus 16 outside air temperature all is good over 70 percent state of charge update 93 kilometers driven we're averaging 26 watt hours sorry 26 kilowatt hours per 100 it's uh, still minus 15 it's been floating around minus 15 minus 16 17 17 and a half uh, battery pack temperatures 725 volts soc bms 69.5 percent state of charge that all shows that, but everything is still going well here, except for these trucks. Um, driving on the 401 is terrible of trucks. They're speed limited and they pull out when they want to and it's just terrible. And then they post videos on TikTok acting like they're the, the victims when they don't watch any of their mirrors. But all is well here. We're showing indicated 225 kilometers of range, 70% state of charge. We've been trying to do close to 112 as possible. There were a couple areas where I tried to average it out, but we're coming up, as I said, 95 kilometers driven, 53 minutes of driving so far. All is good in here. Coming up to our 60% state of charge update. Well, just went down to 59%. Uh, 121.6 kilometers driven, averaging 26.8 kilowatt hours per 100. Been one hour and seven minutes of driving so far. Uh, showing 185 indicated we'll start looking around soon for our uh, turnaround spot where we're going to do it but uh, yeah car is absolutely smashing it out of the park I'm really impressed with these results as we're passing this uh, truck here I decided against using the GoPro this gives you um, more of a personal touch here in the uh, car more of a live experience all is well here will be turning around very shortly that will be the next update and i'll give you the update with all the data on the phone just got off the highway now here we're in uh, prescott ontario we're just at 51 percent state of charge we'll do the turnaround here because there's not going to be another exit for quite a while trying to stay out of regen as much as possible but it it turned itself back on in this car We'll just turn over here, we'll wait for this car to pass, and we'll get back on the 401 heading eastbound back towards Vaudreuil Dorion. Uh, air temperature outside, minus 14, minus 15, not as cold as I would like on this uh, test, but hey, we gotta take what, uh, what we got here. Pack voltage, 695 volts, SOC BMS, 51.5% state of charge, so pretty good time anyways to, uh, to do the turnaround. We'll get back on the highway over here. We've traveled 143 kilometers, 26.8 kilowatt hours per 100, one hour, 19 minutes of driving, and we just hit 50% state of charge. So we'll get back on the 401 over here. Hopefully the phone doesn't fall down. It's very difficult to drive and do this at the same time, but I wanted to bring you something a bit more, um, re a bit more realistic versus a fixed Go GoPro all the time. We'll just go into this corner here. We'll get back up to 112 and we'll accelerate back up to 112 right before the on ramp. We'll get back on over here and we'll continue driving on our way. There we go, 112, well, 113. All right, we'll check back in shortly. We just turned around, now we're heading eastbound on the 401 back towards Quebec, back towards Vaudreuil Dorion. 50% state of charge, 144 kilometers driven. We'll check back in soon. 40% state of charge update, 170.4 kilometers driven. We're showing 115 indicated range. It's 118 kilometers back to where we started from. One hour, 34 minutes of driving. Uh, battery minimum temperature has fallen to minus two Celsius. Outdoor temperature minus 14. Pack voltage 678 volts. SOC BMS is at 41.5% state of charge. So we should be good to make it back to our location provided nothing changes here. But everything is good in the car. I'm really impressed with the um, Ionic 5 in uh, these conditions. So far so good, pretty efficient. Pretty efficient, not bad at all. 30% state of charge update, well 29% 
state of charge update uh, 197.3 kilometers driven it's indicated 79 kilometers of range we have about 92 let's see if we could refresh that we'll refresh that here so it's showing 90 kilometers back to our destination uh, this is going to be a tight one again we have uh, plenty of bailout options here if we have to What's concerning me is that battery temp, it's really starting to drop. Outdoor air temperatures at minus 17, it's really starting to get cold as the, as it gets later and later into the night now. We're almost at to 8.30. Uh, SOC BMS 31.5% indicated is 29. I don't know how big the buffer is going to be on, on this car, but uh, pack voltage 660.3 volts, but that battery temp is starting to really concern me. So I might have to drop down the uh, speed here. Probably going to drop down the speed because I really want to get back to our uh, destination. But uh, we got ba bailout options along the way if I got a bailout. But I'm telling you right now, if I bail out, it's going to be at uh, probably 6% state of charge, 5% state of charge, something like that. I don't want to arrive at a, a DC fast charger in these temperatures at 0% SOC BMS. I, I don't want to do that. So we'll see how much longer we can keep up and what the plan's going to be. It's all starting to fall apart very quickly. We're showing 58 kilometers to our destination, 38 kilometers of range remaining, 15% state of charge, driven 229, 230 kilometers, two hours and eight minutes already. We've also slowed down to about 100 kilometers an hour. Now all the trucks are starting to pass us. Um, SOC BMS 18.5% SOC BMS pack voltage dropped down to 648 volts that battery is getting really cold that's what's concerning me is that battery that battery is really cold outside air temperature has been hovering around between like minus 16 to minus 18 so it's really starting to get a bit hairy like I said I don't want to run the pack down to 0% SOC BMS I and I still want something indicated on the dash because it's not going to charge very well. I don't want it to run into a uh, weird situation where we can't charge the car properly, especially on these um, Ionic 5s and Ionic 6s with the uh, ICCU issues. Uh, yeah, that got recalled again. So we'll see where, um, we'll see what we do. If we have to bail, we'll probably bail in the Revere Baudet area at the A&W that we're familiar. Like I said, I, I don't want to run this down. If we, if we arrived at 0% back to our destination, I wouldn't mind so much. But in these conditions and, and this weather, I don't think it's uh, very prudent. And um, risk assessment on this channel, we always do a risk assessment. And at the same time, I always like to be safe. So we'll see where we end up. This is still a good test. Not all hope is lost yet. We can still salvage this. We can still salvage this, I promise. Just coming up to 10% state of charge, 242 kilometers driven, uh, showing 46 kilometers back to where we started. I don't think we're going to make that. Uh, although it's warmed up a bit outside, the wind has also picked up here because we're right by the St. Lawrence River. The St. Lawrence River is right there. This highway follows the St. Lawrence, but now where we are, we're pretty much right up against it. It's not even two or 300 meters away. Uh, yeah, I think, uh, as I said previously, we're going to have to bail out. I don't have access to a, a DC fast charger on the back of, of, of a trailer. Not yet anyways, uh, but uh, soon enough. Here we go. It's already hit 10% state of charge, low EV battery. Um, I've mapped us in the uh, satellite navigation in the car to Revere Baudet. So that's where I think we're going to see you. We're going to have to bail out of this one. Sorry, folks. This is... Uh, Wow, an another bailout. So the only vehicles that have made it back to destination are my Fiat, the, the Fiat and the Tesla, I believe. Everything else we've had to bail out early. But uh, yeah, that's how it goes sometimes. I'm not, I'm, I'm not gonna risk it or uh, play with fire. Although we're showing 14.5% SOC BMS, I'm worried about, as I said, that uh, battery temperature, cell pack, um, the uh, pack voltage is really falling um, really quick right now, the uh, battery pack voltage. It's, been really dropping like crazy uh yeah that's what i think we're going to have to do here i think we're going to have to bail out well i have failed you we're at five or six percent state of charge and i have bailed out here in revere baudet at the anw a site we are familiar with um i'm calling it safe on on this one 
it was dropping really quick back back there it was starting to drop really quick and i'm really worried about the battery temperature so we'll go get plugged in here at uh the a and w on the circuit electric 100 kilowatts we'll get plugged in and uh, we'll give you our final thoughts here as we pull in at uh, six percent state of charge uh how do i want to do this well well we got plugged in i had to do it a bit uh, convoluted as the cable is not long enough at all and the fuel bowser is here unloading fuel at the petro canada uh, car was great. What I think we'll do is we'll go inside the car and we'll, we'll give our final thoughts because it's pretty chilly out here. But uh, this was a fantastic car to drive. I love driving these cars. I find it looks absolutely fantastic. Maybe we'll film a little piece on my love for the Ionic 5. Let's head back inside the car and give our uh, final thoughts here. What can I say? I've let the channel down. I've let the viewers down, but um, I did it on the uh, side of safety. It's quite cold and I don't feel like getting a tow tonight. Anyways, the uh, numbers. Uh, we traveled 258.1 kilometers. Average efficiency was 26.7 kilowatt hours per 100. And we got roughly two hours and 31 minutes of uh, driving. That was down to um, 5%. I try to keep the tests as realistic as possible. Uh, you'll be driving with heat on. You'll be driving proper highway speeds. Again, Maybe if we would have dropped the speeds down, we would have got a bit more range, but I don't think we would have made it back to where we started regardless, unless it was like absolutely perfect conditions. But yeah, this is driving an EV in the winter time. I'm not disappointed with the car. I'm just disappointed we didn't make it back. The car performed wonderfully. It did everything it uh, should do. I love the Ionic 5, I love the Ionic 6 absolutely fantastic cars i'm just disappointed we didn't make it back to our destination but sometimes that happens it's not the first time we've had to bail out on this channel and it definitely won't be the last so we'll charge up here for another few minutes before they start unloading the uh, fuel out of the um, fuel bowser but uh, i think that's going to be it for the test the ionic 5 was great almost 260 kilometers on uh, that run if you made it this far, please think about liking and subscribing. And I think we'll leave it off of that. We'll see you in the next film.